Bummer. <laughs> Anywho, it's Monday. And here I am. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, there's one of them. Max. Anywho. So, it is Monday. Um, how are we doing? By myself. <laughs> Kids all went home. I don't know what Sam's doing. Grandpa Dan's down in his basement hole. Maybe a lap full of cat. Um, yeah, I really don't know where to start, really. Um, kind of at a loss. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about how my first week went, but I guess I can start with that. So, anyway. Uh, hey, Diane's here. Hey, howdy, hey, it's me. Hi, de ho, good neighborino. Hey, look, I just got an email that I'm live. Max, you are. It is freaking hot in here. I don't know why. Well, probably because it's still 42 outside. Ugh. Warm. Anywho. Ooh. Oh. Had a couple of slices of pizza for lunch and it's still been giving me heartburn all day. Good times. I can't use my hand because my cat decided that she wants to use my armrest. Anywho, how did your first week of 2023 go? Mine has actually gone pretty well, all things considered. Um, still living a life of chaos, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Pulled muscles last Monday on my workout when I talked about it. Yeah, I was in some major pain uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Or was it? Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Ugh. Oh, Tuesday, th Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know. In three days, I was in excruciating pain. Didn't get to go to the gym on Friday because I was feeling under the weather. Ate too much crap on Saturday. Still wound up losing a pound, though. Or almost a pound. <sighs> but aside from that, uh, Dad says I might not be able to attend your stream tomorrow night, so I'll just say that I gained one pound back, one week of hard work wasted. Not necessarily, as long as you learn something from it. That's all that matters. I don't believe in failure as long as you learn something from the process to increase your chances for next time. Then it becomes a learning experience. Huh. So, yeah. A f true failing is one that you do not learn from. Anywho. What the hell is in your eye? You? <laughs> I have to rub this cat's face. She likes it with her face being rubbed and scratched. I don't know why. She purposely puts her hand her face in my hand so that I could scratch her eyes and her teeth. You should see it when I try to brush her. She'll brush her teeth on the metal brush. Anyway, um, so aside from physically wise, it was kind of a crappy week, but a lot of things did pick up. Um, the blogs are doing fairly well. I'm pretty excited about that, but they usually do in January. Um, Mostly because, like, Crossing Colorado, uh, my health and fitness blog usually picks up traffic because everybody's on the New Year's resolution to lose weight, and so everybody does all the research, and then I get a flood of traffic in January and February. Rider Sanctuary usually gets a boost in January because um, people are wanting to try new things to make more money from home, which is kind of centered around what I do with Rider Sanctuary, and so a lot of people jump on that train. So, two of my three blogs usually have a trend January, February, and March. It kind of pitters out at the beginning of March, so we'll, we'll see. But um, what I'll be doing is comparing the traffic from this month versus this month last year and see how well that all goes. But so far, uh, one of the coolest things is that the ad revenue is up, like for AdSense. The, I made a video years ago about how the RPM works in AdSense for 1,000 views. Um, or visitors rather and uh, at that time my RPM I think was like $3.81 that's making $3.81 for every 1,000 people that visit your website uh, the last um, couple of weeks it's been hitting like almost 20 bucks so it's like a massive difference hey Neil how's it going so it's like 
that's kind of cool. <laughs> AdSense still doesn't pay for shit, but, you know, it does pay for hosting and a couple of other cool fun stuff that I'll be adding to the blog, so, and a little bit helps, I guess. But it's really cool that I'll be having, like, the biggest month I've ever had with AdSense. And, uh, I'm not exactly sure why. I know that they, uh, Google changed a bunch of things, and after their latest um, algorithm change, um, I've noticed that the AdSense revenue is like shot up like a rocket. So, like, I wonder if they did something to AdSense to where it's showing more relevant ads to people that visit. I don't know, but I'm gonna dive into it and figure it out because that's pretty cool. If I can get all three blocks to do the same thing, I might be able to get my office this month or. Not month, but this year at some point. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Hey, Chris is here. Haven't seen Chris in a while. Nice to see that revenue going up. Everything counts. Oh yeah, like we're, like I did like twenty bucks last um, last week. So it's like I might have a hundred dollar month. That's I'm pretty jazzed. I've never had a hundred dollar month. So I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Um. But yeah, it's, uh, as soon as I figure it out, though, I'll definitely be making blog posts and videos about it. Because that is kind of cool. Um, I have good news, everyone. I'm moving into a beautiful new house. I thought you were already in a beautiful new house. I love my house. I hate Bumble. <laughs> Interrupts me every Monday. Um, busy, busy, busy. Yeah. There's all kinds of blog posts on Chris's blog. I don't think I read today's that popped up in my email. So I'll have to check that out. I was like stupid busy this morning. I went to the gym. Didn't get a, as long as a workout because I ran out of time. But at least I showed up. So there's that. Um, let's see. Working on seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm right now I'm rewriting uh, Gluttony. And I forgot how grotesque I am. <laughs> and I'm going to be adding more to it. So I've already added quite a bit, uh, quite a big chunk to Gluttony. Um, and I forgot how big of a bitch she was in that story. Yeah. <laughs> so that one's a lot of fun. I like, I like Gluttony. I can't remember what's next, but um, hopefully Gluttony will be done this week. So, in case you're wondering about that, it's the story that I'm writing on 7. Um, it's in Wattpad, and the link is in the description down below. And I'm going to rewrite the entire book um, from start to finish. And I'm actually going to finish it, because it's something I haven't done. And I might just expand the other two stories I have there, too. Not to mention the other stories I want to write. So, I don't have a shortage of shit to write. Uh, my property manager... Turned out to be crazy. I had to leave for after one year. Ah, well, people are insane. Um, ow! I've been suffering through this lease. Yeah, I've had, I've had very bad landlords. In fact, one of my landlords is part of seven. <laughs> so, I got even with them in book. Anyway, the new house is amazing, and the new landlord is super nice. Sweet. I am my own landlord. Well, the bank is a landlord, technically. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe I'll, this year I'll become a rich and famous author and buy the house and move out. And I would love to live closer to lower downtown Denver. Probably in Wash Park. That'd be nice. Something next to water, I think. I would like to have a lake, a lake house. Wish in one hand, shit in the other. Um, oh, something else. I have a, a blog post coming out on Wednesday. I dove a little bit into Kindle Vela, which is uh, kind of like, it's Amazon's serialized books, I guess. Yeah, you can produce them in episodic format. And then people pay for tokens to unlock each episode of the book. And it's kind of similar to how I'm doing Despair. So it's something I might I might be able to do with a busy schedule. But I don't think I'm going to try doing Kinovel yet until I have 7 done. Because I already have enough on my plate as it is. 
So I might finish seven first and then play around with the Kindle Vela, but I'm still working on um, adding more, fleshing out Kingmaker a little bit more, adding more character background. Um, I took a couple of great tips and suggestions from beta readers <laughs> about what to do. So I've been actually putting a lot of those into practice and uh, breaking down some of them. So pretty excited for it. Um, but yeah, got a lot of things coming out this week or this, not week, this year. Um, definitely breaking last year's word count record. If I keep this up, phew, um, like Tuesday and Wednesday, I was hitting like a million words for the year. But then I kind of pitted out, so it'll balance out. But after today, I think I'm like at 800 and something thousand words for the year. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Last year's record's going to get shattered. Uh, especially if I maintain my work schedule that I have out. It's been working great for me, so. I'm still renting. I'm not ready to buy a house. Well, not everybody is. I would love to live by the ocean. Imagine walking on the beach every day. That's the life for me. Yep. Until something bites you. <laughs> no, I love the ocean. I that's one of the biggest things I miss about Santa Santa Monica. Love living in Los Angeles. Uh, hey Ron, how's it going, buddy? Um, and also last week I had my eyeglass appointment. I actually went down and tested out with uh, America's first America's America's something eyeglasses. You get two for seventy nine ninety nine. Don't really. <laughs> They screw you up when you get there. But the prescription that the, they gave me is almost verbatim of what the other one gave me. So I have a feeling that when I get my glasses in a week and a half, that I'm probably going to go, I'm, I'm going to blow up on them. Because I specifically said, I told, the, I told the doctor there, I told the chick that was taking my order, I told everybody, I just care about reading. I don't give a flying fuck what happens out there. I need to see my computer monitor. I need to be able to read. I need to be able to edit. That was my biggest concern. And I told him, that's, I don't care. <laughs> They're like, you should get bifocals. I don't give a shit about the stuff that's out there. I want to be able to read. <laughs> so I don't need bifocals. Just make the whole lens a fucking lens. Bud, it doesn't look like that's what they're going to give me. So I might be going on a rant I'll, I'll explode. <laughs> this will be the second time that I've got glasses. I've spent a hundred, almost $200 so far trying to get something that I can use so I can read. And if they screw me on it, oh yeah, I'm blowing up. <laughs> Cause I told them all repeatedly, not just once I, throughout the whole thing. I need to be able to read. That's all. Well, what if we get these uh, bifocals that don't have the line and they just have like this weird like you can't see out of the sides very well I'm like no i don't care about that i just want to read uh, so yeah sam might be recording a video next in a couple of weeks <laughs> so um there's a huge educational gaming company in la that i'm trying to get a job at and they let employees work remotely nice Cool. Uh, I lived right on the beach in Hawaii for a couple of years. Nothing compares to that. I bet. That's when, like, I would never be able to go to Hawaii because I would never come back. <laughs> any any tropical island. That's it. I can work from anywhere. I will never come home. <laughs> I'll sleep on the beach. As long as I have an internet connection, I don't give a shit. Uh, have you had a chance to check out Draftsy Digital? Yes, and I'm starting to make a video on it, like I wanted to last week. But as I'm starting to get through it, I'm like, this is not what I thought it was. And it really kind of threw off the flow of the video. So I'm going to go through the whole process of Draftsy Digital and then make a video after the fact. Because it's the way I approached it was like way wrong. And so um, I am going to try it out. Um, it kind of reminds me of. Um, Ingram Spark. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'll play around with it a little bit more and then make a video about it. But yeah, I, I started checking it out and it like it screwed up my whole flow. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going through with it. And Samantha, Samantha's here. I visited Hawaii as a kid. It's like being on another planet. 
Yeah. So I was going to Utah. <laughs> Mars. Mercury. Bird, I got married as a, and had a kid. I lived on the seventh floor. And my wife couldn't handle the thought of climbing up and falling over onto the beach. Splat. I'd still live in Hawaii. <laughs> Move to a lower floor. <laughs> I don't know. Make a thatchet hut. Get one of those Wi-Fi plugins for the laptop. I'll fish for food. <laughs> I'm never coming home. <sighs> Anywho, that's that's my. I'm hoping that. The first company gave me the wrong prescription on the glasses and that this prescription is going to help me read because that's all I care about. But I, I just, I have a gut feeling the way the doctor was looking at me. He was some 20 year old. Like, motherfucker, I told you I needed to read and I will, I'll explode. I'll go off. Have you seen the new Avatar movie? I would love to live like those water people. No, I haven't. Am I the only one who hasn't? <laughs> we did move to another house. It just wasn't on the beach. Nope, now you're in the middle of a desert. <laughs> you have sand still. <laughs> just no water. Um, but yeah, I, I miss Santa Monica. Walking along the beach was beautiful. Especially after they did, um, this was shortly after they did the bag ban and they started doing their beautification shit. There's not a single speck of trash at all on that beach. Beautiful, it's immaculate. I miss it. Uh, finished my ebook. Hope to upload it in D2D in a day or two. Awesome. I was thinking I'm going to run a uh, freelancer's tale through it. Not that I expect much because a freelancer's tale is an extremely niche book. But I do want to try it out, so we'll have to see how that goes. And I still have to fix my Barnes & Noble account. Maybe I'll do that this week. 20-something doctor, wow. Yeah, he had to be stupid young. I mean, it looked like he was about Ty's age. So, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of faith, man. I'm going to let him know that. Like, hey, I don't have a lot of faith in you. All I need to do is read my screen. Sam told him that I needed to read my screen. I need to read. That's my job. I'm an editor. I'm a writer. I need to be able to read what the hell I'm typing. That's all I care about. But then you can see all this other stuff out there. I'm like, no, I don't give a shit what's out there. <laughs> I, I work in an office. I have a wall. I don't need to see detailed things on my wall. I need to be able to read. I have perfect depth perception. I don't need glasses to drive. I need them to read. God, everybody's pushing fucking bifocals. No, I don't need bifocals. I just need one fucking lens that I can read. Anyway, <laughs> working me up already. <sighs> I've officially started looking for a new job, Michael. I think I have to make an escape plan. Well, yeah, sometimes you do. Um, who indeed I might stay at this job for another year or two I'm just trying to think ahead yeah um, always have a, an escape plan plan B like I have one in case I lose if I lose all my clients tomorrow I can I'll be fine I'm sorry, is Michael still ranting about bifocals? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he is. I'm telling you, that works me up. <laughs> Chris, the man, the legend from Vegas. Love you, buddy. I love you, too. <laughs> you dislike wokeness, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of, lot of woke shit that I don't uh, placate to. Um, but yeah, but ugh. I'm still, I want to be like, yeah, I'm going to have nightmares about it now. <laughs> I should get them by sometime next week. So we'll see, but I don't know. 
I don't have a lot of faith. I am from Vegas. My name is Chris. <laughs> he's the man. He's a man and a legend. Chris just needs to work a little bit on his self-esteem or self-confidence. That's what it is. Just slightly. <laughs> but it is kind of it is cool to see you getting back to blogging. So I'm pretty proud of you. So keep it up. Oh, one of these days I'll have to come out to Vegas. It's hot there, though. <laughs> because today we had a company gathering where people complained about having too many white people at a conference. What? Seriously? For fuck's sakes. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> God. Oh... I thought you didn't love us anymore. No, Chris has been busy. So. Thank you very much. Uh, well, huh? What? <laughs> yes, come to Vegas, dude. Yes, I would love to. There's a... I, I went through Vegas, lost 20 bucks at the slots, and then drove the rest of the way home. But... Um, it was a lot more deserty than I thought it would be. Because I've never been to Vegas before. And so, like, I'm used to seeing night shots all the time of the lights and shit and all these movies and stuff. So I thought it was going to be way more green. No. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> Dude, the strip was pretty brown. <laughs> of course that was. That was the... Um, about springish, I think. Because it was like a May... The end of May of 2017 because I drove through. But yeah, I was all expecting more somehow. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, too many white people at a conference in Oklahoma. That's all there is in Oklahoma. <laughs> right? <sighs> there are tons of blacks and Hispanics here. Just saying. I might... Go to, I might got to Vegas with my mom in like two weeks. <laughs> I hope you're not driving and chatting. <clears throat> yeah, I would like to go to Vegas. I think it'd be fun. We can hang out with Chris and Megan. And I cannot say her husband's name for the life of me. <laughs> Edo, Edo, Aido. I don't know. I'm just going to call him Odo. <laughs> Constable Odo. Let's see, Ron. Witness, Whitney Houston got nothing. I am the one who will always love you, man. And I will always love you. <sighs> yeah, to you. Um, well, I think I went over all my stuff that happened the last week inside of 11 minutes. <laughs> Man, I'm boring. I don't know what to do to, like, I really don't, really don't know what to say. I mean, I'm a writer. I edit a bunch of shit all day. Um, I don't ever go anywhere <laughs> or do anything. <laughs> my life is not exciting. I don't know. I am boring, I guess. Man. Hopefully, when I get the van fixed, I'll be able to actually do shit. That'd be great. But anywho, how's everybody else's first week? I know Ron got his book done. He's ready to get it published. Um, Whitney, ha Whitney has nothing on Linda Ronstadt. Whew, that's something I haven't heard in a while. Your shirt makes me want to say R, maybe's. R, R, that it be. I love my, my, my Hawaiian shirts. So there. And I actually, I like, this is, uh, this is, this shirt kind of holds a little more for me. Um, it was my brother's. Uh, I got it back when I weighed like 300 pounds. And my brother Brian was like, 
super small at the time. He was pretty skinny and like a foot and a half shorter than me. And so he got the shirt in a Disney World, I think, but he couldn't wear it. So um, he wouldn't wear it. So his wife gave it to me. And it was way too small for me at the time. Like, there's no way I would be like like this. It, it just, it would not go over me. So, but I've lost enough weight where I can put it on. So, and I rather like this shirt quite a bit. Just start over and say it all again. Michael, we are all chatting and missed it anyway. Well, now I feel like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> you should have paid attention. Watch it in the, re in the rerun. <laughs> Vlogs are doing well, but they usually do in January. Actually, I don't think half you were here when I went over that. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're doing great. Um, uh, like the Crossing Colorado Rider Sanctuary usually gets a bump in traffic in January, February because of everybody doing their New Year's resolutions, and so everybody's looking for ways to make more money from home and to lose weight. Um, and then it came in when, they, when I was talking about AdSense being up. Which is like stupid. It's like insane of how much money that Rider Sanctuary is bringing in without having a lot of traffic to it. So, pretty jazzed about that. If I can get the other three to do it, I should be able to afford my um, off at least an office space before the end of the summer. So, really depends on how things go. I could always fuck things up somehow. Um was just talking taking much knee break which we'll probably need to do again soon <laughs> yeah take more vacations than anybody i know <laughs> uh behind on work i have two weeks left in my grad class and trying to find more time for writing well yeah and when you gotta when you have a stupid busy schedule it's really hard sometimes um look at me <laughs> I try to grab, I try to add too much to it. And I would really love to try Kindle Vela, but I know that right now I have Seven and Kingmaker going at the same time. I just, I think I just want to make sure, uh, I just want to get Seven done first and then I'll start working on the Kindle Vela stuff. But from the authors I hang out with on Twitter though, there's a couple of them that make quite a bit on Kindle Vela, so I'm really Really looking forward to giving that a shot. So, especially since I can write the the minimum for Kindle Vela is only six hundred words for episode. It goes from six hundred to five thousand. So, like I can spend an hour cranking out a story, have Sam and I edit it throughout the week, and then upload it on a Friday, and uh, do kind of like what I do with Despair. So, it wouldn't really take an extreme amount of time, but. Um, I would still want to make sure that I get my other stuff done first. Let's, let's take one project at a time, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> three blogs, three YouTube channels, two books. <laughs> but no more happy on that. Um, I'm not driving. I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot waiting for Ty to finish grocery shopping. Oh, you haven't even left yet. Holy shit. It's going to be a very busy month. I'm taking two classes, which start in a few weeks, then moving. Well, you know what happens every time you leave the car, that car in the parking lot after dark. <laughs> Actually, it's not that car. She's driving the Fiat. We haven't got the Kia back. <laughs> after the second time, someone broke into it. They still, It's still in back order, so the parts for it. So we don't have the Kia. Sam, Sam stole the Fiat from my daughter, so... Um, show of hands, who still has that damn Whitney Houston song stuck in their head? Not me. I was playing, I was jamming out to ACBC before I started the show tonight. I was do jamming out to some Back in Black. Um, so now I have the, the opening beats to it. Do 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 I love you in a friend way. You say he's just a friend. <laughs> Saw that coming, didn't you? I'm taking a class on writing short stories. Same professor as first semester. 
cool. Is that the f the same professor that you said that um, we're similar a while ago? I'm not going anywhere with my pants while hauling hay today, so I'm not getting out for any reason. <laughs> um... Just thought I had better clarify that statement. Well, you, not really. He knows. He's married. It's all good. You flirt. <laughs> oh, baby, you <laughs> got what I need. Yes, it's the same guy. Cool. And um, I'm going to start looking up uh, when WordCamp comes to Denver. Because I'm going to apply to be a speaker at this year's WordCamp in Denver which would, I think it would be fun. If I can talk my company into shipping me further out, I'd see if I can do some word camps everywhere else. I would love to go to, um, I don't know if there's a word camp in Las Vegas this year. I didn't, go to, I didn't get to go to St. Louis because I had that charity event. But I'll be going to Denver. I went to Omaha, Kansas City. I would love to go one of the ones overseas, but I know they ain't going to send me there. <laughs> I would love to go to a European one. That'd be fun. And I have my license back, so I can get my passport. <laughs> Yay! This is the longest I've had my license for quite some time. <sighs> I'm what you call a repeat offender. Driving without insurance. God, that screwed me so much <laughs> growing up. <laughs> or driving around in a car with a busted windshield. Never drive through a ritzy-ass neighborhood with a car that looks like it went through the trash compactor. She was a mess, but man, she was fast. <laughs> I miss that car. Anywho. Oh, what kind of writing stuff can we talk about? Because I talked about all the six points I had up, so... What if I just, like, I come across stuff all the time on Twitter. I'm going to start making, like, shorts on it, I think. Replying to people, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do with the channel. I want to do more videos, but I'm like, every time I come up, I try to come up with something, a new topic, it just doesn't feel right. Last week's kind of sucked. Last week I was going to do the uh, uh, draft to digital but I thought it was a writing app, but it's far more. Um, and there's, like, a lot more to it. So I'm like, oh shit, I'm like halfway through it, I'm like, no, oh, how about we just scrap this video, we'll go through the whole process of draft to digital and then do a video on the experience from it. So it's not going to be a, f a reaction video, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Michael, I'll be writing several short stories this semester, it's hard. I suppose I'll get better though. Yeah, yeah, you should re <laughs> read seven. <laughs> I've come a long way in six years. <laughs> Almost seven years. Oh, six and a half years. The seven's about there. So, if you read seven on Wattpad right now, uh, Lust has been completely rewritten. That's one I just uploaded. So, you can compare Lust to anything after it. And you can see the difference between my writing style. Huge, huge difference. For one thing, I use proper grammar. <laughs> I had a habit of everything was spelled right but I used wrong words all over the place um, when I fed one of the stories I think it was I think it was Wrath when I fed Wrath through Grammarly it lit up like a Christmas tree so hey we all gotta start somewhere your first book is not gonna be a bestseller in fact your first book is probably gonna suck you just gotta learn and grow and move on. I bought Dave Chesson's publisher Rocket App. I was thinking about a seat and I still, I would like to try it. But like I said before, I didn't want to do it with Kingmate or with a, um, a Freelancer's Tale because Freelancer's Tale is like super stupid niche. It's like narrow, narrow. Uh, I will probably check it out when I do, uh, when I have Kingmaker ready to go up. Um, 
and probably might play around with it with Kindle Vela when I start writing that. But, um, yeah. I'm not sure how much I'm going to like it, though. Um, the way Amazon is set up, it's weird. So, I don't know. We'll try it. If anything, it'll give me a blog post and a video for a review. So, content. Um, I'm reading some of the required books ahead of time. Awesome. Yeah. Might as well. Um, there's a couple of books on Amazon I want to try. I want to buy too. I want to buy Stephen King's book. Um, if I can fucking read it. Um, there was another one too that I wanted to check out. I can't remember what it was. See, this is why I need to write shit down. I'm getting too old. I can't remember Dick. <sighs> hmm. But, anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm at a louse. <laughs> um, I think it will help me find categories for my book. Did a manual searching for categories, and that was super time consuming. Yeah, I bet. There's a lot of stuff on uh, KDP. So, um, yeah. I know with Keymaker it's dark fantasy, but I know that I can dive deeper into other tags and keywords and stuff for it. So probably Publisher Rocket might help quite a bit with Keymaker. So once that's ready to go up, I'll probably give that a shot. Especially since the blogs are pulling in so much money. <laughs> hey, guess what? Last year, my Grammarly affiliate links earned me $2.20. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm on the road to retirement. <laughs> I need to do more Grammarly articles. I, I promote Grammarly all the time anyway. Uh, I think it will help me... F okay. Oh, I read that. Uh, I made a really good writer friend in one of my classes. Awesome. Q. Found out my Twitter crush has a... Has a... Has a I don't know if he's a husband or boyfriend or what, but partner. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> Not like she knows who the hell I am. <laughs> KDB categories are a jungle. Hard to find good categories. Yeah, it, it's... There's a lot of things Amazon could do different with their layout, I think. Um, it's kind of squiffy everywhere. Uh, like... It's so hard to find shit. It, they're, it's like the Kindle Vela layout. Um, it's okay, but it's still meh. Um, it's hard to find what you're looking for unless you're doing an exact search. So, Grr. Michael, you have a new Twitter crush? No, it's the same one. <laughs> it's the same one that I've had for a year. <laughs> I just, just found out she has a partner, so... Lame. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, guys, going to start driving to Denver now. I will listen, but not chat anymore. Awesome. Drive carefully. Uh, Grammarly finally accepted you into their affiliate program. Yeah, god damn it. It took me forever to fix that. What it was is that um, I was an affiliate with, uh, through um, Share a Sale, and they had the hardest time give me my money from that because I made a, a commission last year at the beginning of last year or the year before where it was like a $120 commission so I'm like where the fuck is my money because <laughs> this person bought it as I talked him in well I didn't really talk him into it but it was somebody that I knew that I chatted with and they bought it because they wanted me to get the credit for it so I'm like where the fuck is this money at and so it, after beating my head against a brick for what a month and a half they finally gave it to me and then Grammarly pulled away from share sale and now they're doing their own shit and so I have to use their links now and it took me forever to get that set up and so that's done I submitted my tax form for my two dollars <laughs> so 
Um, now I've got to change all the links that are on the website to the new format because they're, most of them are still shooting over to ShareASale, which I think they're still live. I haven't been getting 404 errors on it, so I don't know. I have to go through and fix them all. But yeah, it took me a while. But I finally got it. Yeah. Um, watch out for snow monkeys. Time for new time for new Twitter crush. Eh, not really. <laughs> you know, if, if I cared, probably, but I don't really. Um, I liked this particular person because mostly because um, she's a strong, independent woman with some amazing eyes. Oh, eyes are beautiful. But you know, it's still kind of cool. I, I, I like. Um. Yeah, I like that. But, you know, it is what it is. And, uh... Not, not that... It, I, like, I've never once even hinted or talked to anybody on, like, social media in that kind of way. Um, if I like somebody, I won't say a word to them because I am realistic. I know that I am never going to travel across the country to see somebody. <laughs> so if you don't live here in Denver, the chances of meeting me are slim. <laughs> I have too much shit going on to travel, so. Probably why I'm like, I'm not even interested in dating, really. Like, if I come across somebody cool, if not, then whatever. I'm, I'm happy. She was looking for a way to make money writing, so I introduced her to Textbroker. She's very excited. Awesome. Yeah, let her know that I got a ton of videos and blog posts about Textbroker. <laughs> right now... One of my blog posts that I wrote, I originally wrote it in 2016, and I've revamped it twice since then, and right now is the number one article on my website. It's the, can you make $100 in text broker in a day? And I break down, it's possible, but you have to hit these things. And uh, that article over the past month and a half exploded. And that's where a lot of my money's coming from now, so kind of cool goes to show that even a blog post from 2016 can have new life i mean I, my text broker articles used to get attention all the time anyway but this is insane and i even looked through, through it and sometimes i'll get a bump in traffic like that if somebody posts something on reddit but no this is all from organic search in google so sweet <laughs> more for me um, well, don't worry, Michael. At least you don't have a crush on a fictional character. Yeah? True that. <laughs> I guess it could always be worse. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even... Yeah, I don't know. You know, if I probably went out of the house and left... If I actually left the house, I'd probably have more fun. But, you know, by the time I'm, like, take today, for example. My mind, eyes, and I was just burned out by five. I was done. I didn't want to go anywhere and do anything. I'm like that almost every day, um, mostly because my eyes are so bad, and I have piss-poor lighting in here. So after four, 3.30-ish, when the sun goes down and I lose that natural light, um, it's, it's a strain. And uh, I'm just done most days. <sighs> Let's go ahead and ride that New Year's resolutions wave. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, too bad you have a crush on Ryan Reynolds or Chris Evans, though, <laughs> right? Two guys I'll never meet. But you know, hey. Okay, so I, I lied a little bit before I told. Okay, so I haven't come out and really professed my undying love to Ryan Reynolds, but I have messaged him a few times. <laughs> well, not messaged. I have um, added him on Twitter. I've mentioned a few times on Twitter. Um, he doesn't respond. That's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Uh... <laughs> I admire those two. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a, it's a man crush. <laughs> eh. 
What can I say? I have exquisite taste. <laughs> Once you've had a $60 bottle of wine, it's kind of hard to go back to sparkling cider, you know? <laughs> it doesn't taste right for some reason. Anyway. So, there we are. Say we have anything else to bring up. <laughs> what else can we talk about? Man, I was unprepared. I thought this was going to go a lot longer, or my points were going to go a lot longer than they did, but not when you can crank it out in 11 minutes out of a one hour show. I just, yeah, I'm boring. I guess I can gush over seven. I'm really excited to finish seven, really. Yeah, but the superhero love triangles never work out. I know. <laughs> they never do. It's all good. It's better to have loved and lost than <laughs> never loved at all. <laughs> there. We'll see. Okay, so the topic. Working on, <clears throat> working on seven. I love gluttony. <laughs> One of my favorite stories in the whole book. Not as long as the other ones, but it's definitely ranks up there. And I'm sure... And I'm going to rewrite Pride. And I think I'm going to rewrite Envy as well. It just... Envy didn't... Envy felt more rushed. And Sam said that she could predict it towards the end and I hate being predictable so I'm going to have to do something with envy to make it unpredictable <laughs> because if you read any of my work I'm anything but predictable <laughs> at least anymore or nowadays um, yeah <laughs> especially seven <laughs> or not seven kingmaker um, let's see. My first week of 2023 was good. Seven blog posts in seven days, but I am slowing down and just about burned through my buffer of extra posts. Well, see, that's why you should have scheduled like a bunch. Write seven, schedule one a week just to get in the habit of it. That way there's a new post every week. Uh, attempting to do a textbook or article tonight. I don't know. We'll see. I even recorded another podcast, so I guess you might say things are pretty serious. Ooh. Might have to listen to that one. Yep, we got ours. I get um, Crossing Colorado's podcast up on... You record it on Tuesdays. I try to get it up on Wednesday and then post about it on Thursday on the blog, so... I have a feeling I'll have to settle into a one to three, one to three times a week rhythm soon, though. Well, you know, if, if that's what works for you, one a week is better than none a week. So, stick with works best for you. I am never satisfied. <laughs> I always have to push the envelope. What else can I do? How far can I go? And I burned myself out when I did uh, 90 blog posts in 30 days. That was that was a bit much. <laughs> I'll never do that again. That was rough. I did it, but it was rough. I'm just excited to get all the projects done. Like, I can't wait to get seven done. And then I get started on the Kindle Vela and finish the story I have on Ink It. Because I want to write an article about... Uh, do a review on Inkit as well. So, hmm. Cool thing is, if I keep everything as episodic, then I can write once a week. Problem is, is that they won't be published for like seven or eight months at that rate. I guess it's better than nothing at all, though. And as long as I work on Kingmaker every day, I should be able to get it published next month. So, I just don't want to rush it. And I still got to find a cover art. Oh, I just don't know. I might just bite the bullet have uh, and pay for somebody to design the cover for Kingmaker. 
I have an idea of what I want it to look like, but I don't have the time to do that. I've got enough show my plate as it is. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll do a rough kind of sketch of what's in my head. Kind of similar to the, the green forest background that I had on uh, michaelbrockbank.com and the, and the uh, nanorimo.org profile. So, something dark and foresty, but with certain elements in it. I don't want to say too much until it's out. But, um, yeah, so I'll, I might have to sketch some ideas up. I have one post per week scheduled for now, though, July, through July. Nice. But I want to, but I want more than that, especially since most of those are old ones from the old blog. Well, yeah, man, your 90-30 challenge was pretty insane. Glad you didn't die. <laughs> My heart hasn't been the same since. <laughs> Literally. It fibrillates a lot. <laughs> still that was uh that was one hell of a push so a good cover can make all the difference in the world as far as getting clicks so it's probably worth the investment just to get some traction yeah i'm thinking so and i'm probably going to see about uh, one of the other authors i followed she does animated covers for social media and some of them are really badass looking so um, I might hit her up when uh, I get the cover done for marketing purposes. And fuck it, I'll give me an article for to do a review. <laughs> like there's all kinds of content coming out of this. <laughs> well, that's why I wrote. Um, that was the benefit to a freelancer's tale, is that a freelancer's tale gave me what thirty blog posts, like ten videos. And a book. <laughs> so there's all, all kinds of things that come from just one project. So if I get uh, cover art, I can do a review on the guy, who whoever does the cover. Um, I can then do a review on her services for animating it. Um, draft to digital. I'll be doing playing around with that this month or this week. Now, that's for our financial shell though, but... So yeah, there's all kinds of groovy shit that I've got planned this week. I'm excited. Oh yeah, you follow some self-published authors on Twitter, maybe they can recommend an artist or stock photo resource. I won't use stock photos for my books. That's one thing I will, I plain, like put my foot down on. When it comes to my books, I will never use stock photos nor AI generated art. I want real talent. So... Yeah, unique. The bad thing about stock photos is that, sure, you can get some decent images and there's some amazing artists on stock photo sites, but um, if you're paying for a photo, so is everybody else. So it's not exactly unique. I would rather have um, a real artist do something unique for it. Uh, does that artist do ebook covers? Um, the one that animates them? She does. In fact, she animates them for social media for ebooks. Um, let's see if I can find her. And she's a little cutie too. Her mom's hot. <laughs> That's kind of how I found her in the first place. She's talented though. She's got some skill. She's on some amazing book covers. Let's see if I can find her here. She's on on Instagram. And Twitter. Um, yeah, where are you? Hey, Andy Whiskey. Um, why is my my feed is full of Philip DeFranco? <laughs> I just want. Am I even on the right account? No, that's why, dumbass. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? You are the puppet. I am the puppeteer. See, Megan comes up with all kinds of stuff for her Instagram. I can, whenever I try to take an Instagram picture or make a reel, I like, my mind is mush. And so I just film my fucking squirrels. 
which wind up going viral. <laughs> Everybody likes to see me feed my squirrels. Um, there's Sarah Beth, Megan. Wow, Jesus, Megan puts out a lot of stuff. <laughs> when do you have time to work? Yeah, like every other, there we go. Morgan Wright. Um, if you go to um, Instagram, it is by Morgan Wright. On inst whoops. Instagram. Bam. Let's see if she has a link. Yep, she has a well she has a link tree on her Instagram account. But she's an author as well, but she does animated um, book covers. She posts on Twitter all the time. Her Instagram account's full of clips from Twitter. <laughs> well, whatever works, I guess. Let's see, there's... Is that one of the animated ones? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Anywho... Marketing everybody else. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Well, yeah, I want to, as soon as Kate Maker's done, I have a, a couple ideas for it, so I'm pretty excited. Be the first time I actually dump money into it. Anyway, it is nearing 8 o'clock, and instead of boring you guys with my droll life, I'm hoping something exciting happens. You know, I should stop, I should not say that. Exciting things happen all the time, which is why I live a life of chaos. I just want one week, just one, where I don't have to deal with chaos of some form. Last, last week I pulled the shit out of my chest muscles, couldn't freaking move. Sam gets me sick. House was a, house is still a wreck. I, I, I'm reminded of those old commercials. The chick in the tub. Calgon, take me away. <laughs> I don't even have a tub. <laughs> I have a private shower. <sighs> I need to get a hot tub. It's, I wanted to, but things fell through. Anyway, last week's card. Did we just go 58 minutes with no cat? No, Max was here for five minutes. <laughs> she doesn't make the shit out of cloak. I think Shadow got left out when I shut the door. So, bummer. I just scared the shit out of cloak, though. I mean, me. But yeah, Max was up here at the very beginning. Thanks. You are welcome, Ron. Um, I would say tell her I sent you, but she doesn't know who I am. <laughs> so, I just chat with her briefly probably once every two weeks like each other's stuff actually I like her stuff but... last week's card I choose calm over anxiety <laughs> well you know out of all the chaos that I lived through I don't really have I'm not really anxious all that often I'm too busy stressing out to be anxious <laughs> I can't be anxious because if I get anxious then nothing gets done. I have to do it myself. Chaos and mayhem. Alright. This week's affirmation card. Are we ready for this? Alrighty. Affirmations. Ha ha! Here's one I live by. I will celebrate my small wins. Every victory is still a victory. That's something I talk about a lot, actually. That's because that's how I built a career. I started off with uh, writing for Text Broker. My goal at that point was just a thousand words a day. 
And this was also when I was working full time for the school district. So getting a thousand words a day was really difficult, especially by the time I was able to get jobs after work. Most of them were gone. So I was able to get maybe one, two articles, maybe a day. And most of the time they were 300 and 500 word articles. And so I started off slow. I was making 25 bucks an extra week. 25 bucks extra week. Um, it was enough for gas and I bought cigarettes when I worked there. Uh, when I've spoken yeah. and then I kept working on trying to break that record even if it was by one word that was a new record and so I went from push myself trying to hit a thousand words to well the peak of my career I was bouncing between 8,000 and 10,000 a day is what my goal was nowadays I'm writing between four and six so um, don't discredit the small wins relish them because you can start building momentum i'm a big fan of building momentum it's not about what i can do it's about what you can do what you can do today that was more than yesterday you're only in competition with yourself in just about everything in life so celebrate the small wins because when you start doing when you start celebrating all those small things why the hell is <sighs> seriously Shit ton of push notifications from YouTube. <laughs> Leave me alone. Anyway, when you start celebrating those small wins, what happens is that you start building confidence and start believing in yourself because you're starting to accomplish more and more as you go. And before you know it, you have a very lucrative career working for um, a semi-popular web hosting company, an insurance company, a cemetery company. <laughs> Not to mention having fun on YouTube and managing three blogs and YouTube channels and everything else. <laughs> so, hey, you're live, right? <laughs> no shit. I get those, I get the mass messages for being live um, about 30 seconds after I go live. Uh, those were actually from Philip DeFranco and a couple of the people I watch. But I already watched his show today, so I don't know why it's showing me the same shit that I just watched. Fucking YouTube. But anyway, my point is, is that I always celebrate the small wins. Because it's all about building momentum. Next thing you know, you're popular like me. <laughs> I'm not popular. I am successful. I have my own house. Mortgage is paid. All my bills are paid. My credit cards are paid. Groovy. All right. Anyway, I guess we'll wrap it up here. If anybody has any questions, comments, concerns, you can hit me up on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, or use the contact form on RyerStanctuary.com's website. Because those emails get sent to me directly. Um, don't forget that A Freelancer's Tale is available on Amazon and Kindle, or uh, on, in oh, the chat. <laughs> Such a good start. <laughs> Don't forget that a freelance tale is available on Amazon in paperback and ebook formats. A story about how I got started as a freelance writer from working with content mills all the way to what I do today, all while dealing with one of the worst depressions of my entire life. It's a story about hope and never giving up. And the link to that is in the description down below. Uh, yeah, Michael, you rock. Yes, I do. <laughs> I know I do. I'm a badass. <laughs> there are days where I'll sit there and think to myself, God damn, I'm good. <laughs> I had one of those moments yesterday. <laughs> like, I did something. Like, I figured something out, like, wicked fast. But all I could think is, fuck, I am worth so much more than what I'm charging. <laughs> but, hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you get to that point where you think, where you know that you're awesome at your job. I love those moments. Um, you can get through the plugin. Yes, I did well the second time. <laughs> the first plugin kind of crashed. Michael loves plugs. I'm a publicity whore. <laughs> Anywho, have a good week, everybody. Let's do some awesomeness. Let's keep the momentum going. Hopefully, Gluttony will be finished by this week. And if you follow me, uh, if you follow me on 
Twitter, Facebook, or yeah, Twitter and Twitter and Facebook, I think. Because I don't think I share the uh, updates to seven on LinkedIn. But if you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, um, as soon as I'm done writing Gluttony, it's been edited, and I get it uploaded to Wattpad, you all know it. And I also share on uh, with my Buy Me a Coffee supporters as well. And I think that's it. Hopefully I'll have something interesting to share with you next week. If not, then we'll just hang out and talk about stupid shit again. Good night. Hope everyone has a great week. Keep pounding the keyboard. See y'all next Monday. Just have a good week, Ron. We'll see you guys next time. Alright, Ron. You know, Michael also streams on Tuesdays. Yep, I'm also, uh, we do Crossing Colorado's podcast on Tuesdays at the same time. And that is for our weight loss journeys with me and Sam. And uh, it's on Crossing Colorado's YouTube channel. Um, I wonder if it, I wonder if I can, you no, know, YouTube made a new way to do links. So let's try this youtube.com slash at crossing colorado i think that takes you to my channel <laughs> but that's where we talk about our weight loss journey so and those will actually be uploaded to anchor on wednesdays which then are fed to spotify and i gotta sign up with the rest of the other podcasting stuff this week hopefully if i remember um, I still have to schedule what I'm doing tomorrow, and that'll probably be one of the things I do. Probably at least add it to Google Play. Maybe at iTunes. I know Apple is more of a pain in the ass to get connected to, though. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just say, fuck Apple altogether. <laughs> <sighs> and, uh, yeah. And also, we stream on Sunday nights at the same time as well for Colorado Plays. Uh, last uh, last night we played Minecraft with the girls. It was me, uh, Sam, Arab, uh, my daughters, Sky and Jade. And uh, we played uh, Stargate Minecraft, which is great. I love Stargate. They did a great job adding a Stargate to Minecraft. And that was a lot of fun last night. I finally made my boomstick. Double barrel shotgun. <laughs> Took me long enough, but I was able to make it. But yeah, um, we have a lot of fun on Colorado Plays' gaming channel. So, anywho, that's it for me tonight, I guess. Have a good week, everybody. Let's do some awesomeness. And uh, I'll cross my fingers that I'll have something interesting to share with you next Monday. <laughs> if not, oh well, you yeah, know, whatever. It is what it is. Enjoy the week. And, uh, Remember, if you guys need anything, anything at all, feel free to reach out. I'm pretty easy to get in touch with, so. Have a good week. <laughs>